Hey guys, Justin with Real Wisconsin Outdoors, and today I'm taking one of my best friends trout fishing. This kid hasn't caught a relevant trout in a long time. If you guys look back a few weeks, you'll see my buddy Adam actually caught some nice trout when we went to Silent Creek. Well, today I'm going to try to take my buddy to that same creek. We're going to Silent Creek, and we are going to try to catch ourselves some trout, and hopefully my buddy gets on a nice brookie or a brown. Let's go trout fishing. Stay tuned, and uh, yeah, Lance, play my music. <laughs> silent trout fishing challenge a few weeks ago and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, trout fishing today um, first of all I just want to say it's great to have you back for another episode and uh, so what do you think today beautiful blue skies sun's bright just a little bit of cloud cover it's gonna be a little bit warm but you think we're gonna catch some trout oh we're gonna catch some trout we're gonna we're gonna slay I hope so. We're going to be doing hook and worm today, dropping in, fishing those deep holes under the uh, water wings, and uh, you and I are just going to stealth our way through there, solid snake style, and we're going to try to catch some trout. Sounds good to me, brother. Thanks for having me. I'm here at Silent Creek with my best friend, Jay Hops. We're going trout fishing. I'm going to fish these first couple holes real quick, and then Jared and I are getting after it. Yeet. If you guys have been enjoying the trout videos this year, you guys are gonna have to give me a little bit of love in the comments. Let me know what you've been enjoying the most. Dude, these bushes are psychotic and annoying. This is right where I took Adam a couple weeks ago. And we had a decent day. Caught four nice trout. So let's see what we do. Oh, look at that hole, guys. Look at this hole right here. There has to be a trout in there. There has to be. There's drought. Look at this, guys. There has to be trout in here. There has to be something in there. Look at that. Bang, bang. How? Guys, how is there nothing in there? I just refuse to believe that. I just refuse to believe that. Oh, he came up for it right away. Look at that. Got him. Got him. Oh my God, guys, I got him right away. Awesome. What a great start. What a start. And that is a beautiful keeper brook trout, guys. We're going to be keeping him. Oh my goodness. What a start to the day. I First spot, literally first spot I walked down to. Uh, Jared's still getting ready. And this is a 
awesome nine and a half inch, 10 inch brook trout. What a start to the day, guys. This is gonna be a blast. Let's catch some trout, baby. Just watch that shelf. I'm really not as close as I wanna be because I know there's trout under there. Nope. Grab it. There he is. There he is. Come on, get it. Get it. Damn, what a cast. Okay, maybe we'll try that this spot later. There's another shelf right here. Come on. Look at this. Oh my God, look at this. So it cuts around the corner, Jared. Mm -hmm. See what I mean when I said we were going to have a chill day of trout fishing That's today? Yeah, this is all stream reconstruction. Remember what I told you today was going to be chill? Mm -hmm. This is what today is going to be. Oh, Jared, Jared, Jared. Yeah. Now, listen to me. Reel up until it gets tight, and then when it gets, now set the hook hard. Reel, Jared, reel, Jared. Reel, come on, Jared. You got a big trout. Okay, okay, chill out. It's a big trout, Jared. Oh, goodness. Okay, I see him. I see him. I see him. We'll get him. We'll get him. We got him. We got him, brother. We got him. We got him. Come on. Get him up, Jared. Get him up, Jared. Oh, Jared. Oh, Jared. Jared starts the day with a huge brown. Jared out of nowhere. You running? Of course you I'm running. Jared out of nowhere. Jared out of nowhere. Jared, oh, yeah. my sunburn. Oh, no, it hurts look, so look, good. Look, look. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We got to make sure he's tall. We got to make sure he's tall. Shut up, shut up, shut up. On this day. Oh, my God. Dude, there's a 13-inch brown. Yeah. 1037. 1037. Oh, give me that big boy. Jared slays the monster. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Play that little guy. Hey, no little guy. This is one of the nicest trout I've ever caught here. Nice fish, Jared. Look at that. Look at this trout. We got to get a picture of this. All right, I want you to hold it up for the camera. Look at this. Look at this brown dude. What a brown dude. Hold that up for the camera. Jared. Jared gets a beautiful brown trout. Beauty. Awesome, dude. I'm so proud Bro, of you. We, we've been here for like three minutes. Sorry. Hey, look at that. Oh, you're fine. Thank you. Bro, I am incredibly proud of you right now. Nice job, Jared. How's that setter? Should I pull her harder next time? That was perfect. That was, you couldn't have done that better. You can swipe, you, or you can just chill and just let yourself be bloody. Now, unfortunately, you guys aren't going to get to see the other four fish we caught, but wow, did we have an insane day today. I ended up catching three beautiful brookies. Jay Ops caught a really nice brook trout, a 12 and a half inch brown, and a 13 inch brown. We had a heck of a day today, guys. I'm going to show you pictures of that stuff right now. You guys can check them out. And Jay Ops, my boy, did you have fun today? I had a lot of fun, man. Thanks for having me. You out. know what was wild, dude? Is we were in that woods 10 freaking minutes and you had a 13 inch brown to start the day. We had two uh, fish in the first 10 minutes. I mean, dude, we haven't had it. We like, we go fishing a lot now. And the last two years we've gone, you haven't really caught any keepers. I mean, this was a really nice change of pace, right, Jared? Yeah, yeah it was awesome. And I mean, when you start pulling the big browns out of the dune, we had some other fish come out today that looked like they would have been keepers too. We'll catch them next time. We'll get them next time. Mission failed. Yeah. We'll get them next time. All right, you guys, thanks for watching today. I'm Justin with Real Wisconsin. I know it's a little bit shorter video, but you know what? Ran out of battery. I forgot to bring the rest of them. But uh, I got to tell you guys, Today was something special. I had a great time with my best friend, Jared. And we'll see you guys right here next time for another trail fishing adventure. Okay, now I'm obligated to say this because I didn't say it at all during the video. And um, today's fish were all caught on the Starry Custom Fishing Rods. Links in the description. Make sure you guys, you know, go and get a hold of Mitch Starry because he makes some of the best rods in the business. The rod I'm using is a six foot medium light. It absolutely dominated all the trout we caught today. Six pound trilene fluorocarbon. And uh, Ricky said he wanted this to be a catch and cook. So we're about to turn it into a catch and cook. I'm gonna go get these trout cleaned. And then uh, after I clean these trout, we're gonna bake at least one up for you guys. So let's get into it. All right, guys, we're going to make this super simple. I got my buddy, uh, Jared, behind the camera today. And, of course, Jared, maybe not the most well-versed in cleaning trout. Is that safe to say? Yeah, fair. So it's a really simple thing to do. A lot of people make it way more difficult than it has to be. So if you come over by me, I'm going to show you how we clean one of these brookies quick. And we're going to get right into it. And we're going to get it set up for this segment of the Catch and Cook. So you want to make sure you have a nice, sharp knife. You take your trout and you carefully 
you insert the knife down at the butt, right down below, and you cut all the way up to the head. Very, very simple. This does not have to be a, you know, it shouldn't be a 20 year thing, really. Open the fish up, reach in, pull the guts out, clean out the, clean out the bloodline in the back of the fish, wash your fish out, clean out those last little bit of guts here, clean up those last little bit of guts, get some of that last stuff out of the fish, and for brook trout, you're done. You're ready to go. It's that simple. I love it. I love these fish. They taste great. And this one in the pan is going to eat absolutely fantastic. Now, of course, being that my good friend, Ricky, requested that this be a catch and cook. So what I've done is I've just taken some paper toweling and I've just kind of patted the inside and the outside of the trout that I'm going to cook just to kind of wipe them down, get some of the water off of them. So we're gonna take this nice brook trout, I'm gonna come over here. I've got a little tin foil on my baking pan with just a tad, a little bit of a spray of the, uh, of pan. Then, we come over here and I'm gonna prep one more. This was the smallest brookie we caught today, if you can believe that. Nice little brookie here. I'm gonna prep this one like this, got it on the pan, and then I'm gonna take, and we're gonna hit these with just a little black pepper and my secret ingredient. A little, a little, uh, a little Celtic sea salt. Now, these bad boys are going in the oven for 15 minutes at 380 degrees, 400 degrees, whatever you like. And when they're done, I'm gonna be back to uh, show you guys these lovely brookies. And uh, we're gonna make this catch and cook happen, baby. I'm Justin, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. All right guys, 15 minutes is up and you know what that means. Time to get these trout out of here. Oh. Ooh, baby. Is that ever looking tasty? Ooh, I'm excited. We're gonna get them on the plate and then we're gonna have a little nibble and see how they taste. Alrighty guys, we just took our fork and broke in and flaked some of this meat right along the back, look at this. Oh my goodness, Ricky, you getting a shot of that, my boy? I sprayed a little spick and span on it to really make it taste good. Here we go, guys. Fresh brookies caught earlier today. Oh my goodness. Guys, I don't know how to describe this to you, but this is, uh, there's like a freshness to these fresh caught brookies. And you just, you can't beat it. You really can't. Uh, these fish are in ice cold water. And these fish are, I mean, these fish are under four hours out of the river for me. And we're gonna have one more bite here, and then we're gonna bring it home. Mm, mm, mm. And that Celtic sea salt gives it just that little salty flavor, the black pepper, perfect on these mild fish. Mm. I love it, guys. Justin Johnson, make sure you're subscribed, and I'm going to see you here next time.